Okay, as you see, this is going to be 15.2 angles of inscribed quadrilaterals. We're going to be able to solve some problems with inscribed angles and quadrilaterals, and we'll take a look at a proof as well. Okay, so before we talk about this, let's um, you know see what we mean by a quadrilateral that's inscribed. So if you have a circle, say we have a circle here, and if we have a quadrilateral that's inscribed, you can tell, Just I'll just draw any quadrilateral. So remember, quadrilateral is just any polygon that has four sides. So you can tell the vertices are just right on the outside of the circle there. So that's considered inscribed. They lie on the circle. Okay. Well, the main property that we're going to look at today is that the opposite angles of an inscribed quadrilateral are supplementary. So remember the opposite angles are these angles just straight across from each other. When you add them together, they equal 180 degrees. And these ones as well, of course. So opposite angles equal 180. So pretty easy. We'll be able to solve some problems like that. All right, this is a little proof. I'm going to go through it quicker than I would if I was in class, but you can just pause the video and look at it a little bit closer. But what we, we have an inscribed, we have a, yeah, inscribed quadrilateral. And so for this, we could add these two together. These two statements are just saying that we've got an inscribed angle ADC, which is this one, and it's intercepting this arc. And so we know that it's one half of that arc's measure like we did for the last section. So then we can add these together and you can tell that it equals this statement just when you add them together, the left side and the right side. And then what you can do is you can factor out the one half. So that's why it has parentheses and it actually factors it out. Then you can use the fact that the arc measures added together equal 360 because they equal the whole circle. So then you can substitute the measures of those two arcs with 360 and then multiply the one half times the 360 and get 180. And that right there shows that the measure of the those two inscribed angles, ADC, that's this one, and ABC equal 180. So they're straight across from each other. And when you add them together, they equal 180. So it's a little proof of, of that fact, of that theorem. All right, let's actually use it to find some measures. So let's say we want to find measure P, that angle. So we can tell that has a little box there, so we know that that's 90. So what we can do is just add the angles together and set them equal to 180. So we can say P plus 90 equals 180, and then just solve for P. So subtract 90, so P equals... 90. And then, uh, same thing for the Q, we can just say 58 plus Q equals 180, and then just subtract 58. So 180 minus 58 is 122. All right, same thing here, except we get to practice a little bit more algebra. So we're going to add these two guys together first. So let's find the x's. So we're going to add, we got 2x plus 37 plus, and 2x plus 51. And we're going to say that that equals 180. So we're going to add our like terms together, so 4x, then we're going to add the 37 plus the 51, and so that's 88, and that equals 180. So then we're going to subtract, so 180 minus 88, and I know you guys can do that, so I'm just going to say 4x equals... So we'll subtract 80, so 92. So again, that's subtracting 88 from each side. And then we're going to divide by 4. 
So divide by 4, x equals 92 divided by 4, so that's 23. So x equals 23. Now let's use that to figure out what y is. So we know that we can put, we can put, let's go ahead and put the 23 in right there for the x to figure out what that is. So that's going to be 3 times, instead of the x, let's put 23. 3 times 23 minus 6. So that would be 3 times 23 minus 6. So that would be 63. So that means this angle here is 63 degrees. So now we can add these two opposite angles together and set them equal to 180. So let's do y plus 63 and say that equals 180. Then we'll subtract 63 from each side. So we got y equals, so 180 minus 63 is 117. All right, so last thing, uh, can the following quadrilaterals be inscribed in a circle? Explain. So the way we're going to determine that is if the opposite angles add up to be 180. So in other words, the opposite angles are both supplementary, both pairs are supplementary, then we'd say, hey, yeah, this could be inscribed in a circle. So we add them together. When we add these two together, they equal 180. So we'd say, yes, same with these two. They add up to be 180. So we'd say, yes, the opposite angles are supplementary. Okay, and then we do the same thing over on the other side here on the right. We add them together, and I'm not sure if these are supplementary. So 88 plus 62, that's 150. So already the opposite angles are not supplementary. So we would say no opposite angles are not supplementary. That's our explanation. Okay. I'll just abbreviate there. Sup. Should say sup. All right. I think that's good for that section. And fortunately for you guys, the notes, the assignments, and the assessments are all going to be aligned. So don't worry. We won't ask you any crazy questions like this. All right. Have a good day.